Humanitana tidbit for today. So in the previous day's chapters, we explained that a person would give his life up not to go against God or the sin of Avedah Zara, and we explained how that's true by every single sin, that any sin disconnects a person from God, and therefore a person should make sure to never do any sin which could disconnect him from God. And today's time we're going to explain the same is true about the other side, about actually getting yourself to do good things, that a person needs to be able to be strong and not allow himself to be disconnected from God, and to make sure that he's always connected to God, by making sure that he has the full strength to always serve God, which means that he should be strong like a lion, put him full effort into it and don't let his evil inclination come and attack him by making him feel heavy, making him feel lazy, which is the element of earth like we explained in the first chapter. That a person just feels down and he's not willing to work, but rather a person should be strong, put in as much effort as he can into serving God properly in the best way that he could. And that means when it comes to learning Torah, a person should actually think deeply, try to understand Torah to his best and greatest capabilities. And so too he should always be constantly saying words of Torah, put in the effort and energy to have that alacrity in order to do that. And the same is true when it comes to davening. That a person should daven with his full strength, his full focus, to connect himself to God. So too with the service of God when it comes to money. That it, when it comes to the idea of a mitzvah of tzedakah or the like, a person should constantly be giving himself over to God in the fullest and not let himself be disconnected and to make sure to stay connected to God in the greatest way possible and to allow himself to really push himself all the way to the edge to make sure that he's always connected to God. That's the end of today's Tanya. See you next time.